Boom, acoustic guitars. Let's take a look at the top five acoustic guitars for beginners. Let's go. When you're learning guitar, you're going to want an instrument that inspires you and that you're going to pick up and practice all the time. You're gonna need an instrument that will grow with you as you develop your skills. Today, we're gonna be looking at everything from body sizes, neck profile, and neck shapes, all the things that you're gonna need to know when you're buying your first acoustic guitar for a beginner. But before we get into that, please make sure you like and subscribe so you can see more videos from us at the Gear for Music Guitars channel. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about acoustic guitars, check the blog in the description where we go through our top 11 acoustic guitars for beginners. This is the Yamaha F310. If you've done any research into buying an acoustic guitar, you've probably come across this guitar in loads of videos and blogs, and it's not just because of coincidence. It is one of the best guitars you can get for a beginner acoustic guitar player. Now, the Yamaha F310 has a dreadnought body shape. The dreadnought body shape is one of the most popular shapes for acoustic guitars. This is because it can produce a very full bodied tone for your guitar and it's perfect for those big open chords. Some people might find the body shape a little bit too big, especially if you're a smaller person, then I would recommend looking at other body shapes that are a little bit smaller. And we'll look at that later on in this video. So if you're looking for something that's super easy to play and has that full bodied tone, the Yamaha F310 is a great place to start. This is the Heartwood Prime Acoustic. As you can see, the body shape on this guitar is a little bit smaller than the Yamaha F310. It has a deeper waistline, meaning it can sit a little bit more comfortably on your lap, which is perfect for those people that might find dreadnought shapes to be a little bit too big. The smaller shape on this guitar means that you might not get as much low end resonance as you would from a dreadnought, but you'll get a lot more clarity from the top end. And there'll be a little bit more of like a sparkle there, which is kind of what you want. You'll also notice that this has a cutaway. This is one of the only guitars today that we're looking at that has a cutaway. So as you develop your skills, you might want to learn how to do some guitar solos. So you can get a little bit more further up the neck and you can play some sweet solos just like this one. This guitar is going to be perfect for smaller players that find the dreadnought shape a little bit too big. But not only that, if you're trying to develop your skills, this guitar will be perfect for that as well, as the clarity in the tone of this guitar will help the finger picking style come through. And it has this cutaway, which means you can get further up the neck. You want your guitar to play and sound amazing, but you also want your guitar to look amazing as well. And that's why I picked out this Lunar Art Dreadnought acoustic guitar right here. It has this amazing distressed finish that has a sunburst style on it, which I think just looks incredible. But not only that, it also has these amazing inlays that Lunar have put into the guitar. You can see right here where it's got the Lunar symbol going all the way through it. It's like these half moon shapes. And I think that is just a perfect little bit of detail for this guitar. Just like all the other guitars we've looked at today, this guitar has a C-shaped neck. And a C-shaped neck is just a lot more comfortable, especially for beginners. Not only that, but this has a satin neck finish, which just means as you move your hands up and down the fretboard, it's just gonna be a lot easier and a lot smoother. So all in all, this guitar sounds amazing, but it also looks amazing. So if you're a player that wants something that looks a little bit artsy and a little bit different, this is the one for you.
up next up, we have a Fender guitar. If you know nothing about guitar and you don't know who Fender are, you've seen somebody use a Fender before because this person used a Fender and this person used a Fender and this person used a Fender. But this is the Fender FA-135 Concert Acoustic Guitar. The guitar body shape on this is known as Concert, and basically what Concert is, is a lot smaller size when compared to a Dreadnought, and it also has a much deeper waistline, so it can sit in your lap a lot more comfortably. So Fender built this guitar specifically for beginners. Because it's a Concert guitar, it has lower string tension, which means that it's a lot easier to fret and play the guitar, so you're not fighting with the strings as much. Not only that, but it has rolled fretboard edges, which just basically means it's a lot more comfortable to play. So this guitar is great for someone that doesn't want a big dreadnought guitar and is looking for something slightly smaller. But if you're looking to develop your skills and do something like finger picking, then the lower string tension on this guitar will really help you out there. Not only that, but you're buying into years of heritage from the Fender brand that has been trusted by thousands of guitarists all over the world. <laughs> of the day is the Takamini GX11ME. As you can see, this guitar is a lot smaller than the other guitars we've looked at today, and that is because it is three-quarter size. Usually on regular guitars, the length between the nut and the bridge is 25 and a half inches, whereas on this one, it is 22 and a half inches. This is gonna be perfect for children who are starting to learn guitar because you can easily get those chords under your fingers without big stretches across the fretboard. These are also super popular with traveling musicians or buskers because they're so small and compact, you can take them pretty much anywhere. So this is the only guitar on our list that is electronic. You can plug it into a guitar amp or a mixer. So the preamp on this is quite fancy. You've got three band EQ, which means you can change the bass, the middle, and the treble, meaning that you can get whatever tone that you want. Not only that, but it also has a built-in tuner, so you'll never lose one of those little tuner things ever again. You can just use it on the guitar itself. This guitar is perfect for someone that's looking for a travel size guitar that they can take pretty much anywhere. Not only that, because of its smaller size, learning the guitar has never been easier. So there is my top five acoustic guitars for beginners. Hopefully you've learned a little bit there and you better understand the different body sizes and shapes and neck profiles for these acoustic guitars and you've maybe found one for you. If you wanna look at recording your acoustic guitar, I would recommend checking out the amazing Shure PGA 181 microphone that we're using today. If you wanna learn more about what microphones you should use to record your acoustic guitar, check the blog down in the description. And finally, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye.